Oh yeah. Welcome back, Chips. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while, right? Uh, lots of things have changed in my life. Um, my worker that was here doing the mobile phone repairs has gone home and my power wall is still running. Facebook prompt back on this day seven years ago was one of the points that I really started to enjoy my DIY power wall project. Um, and even though I never want to do it again, I assure you, it was the day that I started getting my mounts made which sort of prompted me to go hey I haven't given you guys an update of how this power wall is actually going whether it's still working or not what is it TDLA NTLA I don't know too long didn't read it is so let me grab the camera and we'll do a bit of a walk around and have a quick look now I should be honest I haven't actually walked down into that power shed until about five minutes ago when I opened the door and went holy shit I mean that literally you'll find that out in a minute basically all that I do to manage my batteries is rely on my battery to tell me when there's a problem. So let's go for a walk. I'll take you around here and we'll have a quick look. And then maybe in a week's time or something, I'll do another video. I'll go out to the farm and do a rundown on that and how that's still running out there as well. So workshop wise, um, you know, it's all been chased around, but still doing all my things that I normally do. If we have a look here, cars. For the last couple of months, I have been doing my cars more than I've been doing absolutely anything else. Playing with all sorts of carburetors and having a little bit of fun and port and polishing heads. But we've still got the batteries in here. Let's stay on track, Pete. Uh, this is the 10 kilowatt hour shed battery. Now this has all of my recycled old batteries. So anything that's come out of the shed down there, which I'll show you in a second, comes up here and lives its third life. Um, secondlifestorage.com, check it out. and this is currently not running it's charged and turned off so i got all the bait trim gear in here um i got bits and pieces running around everywhere i got the bait trim in there that's watchmon i think that's a watchmon five or seven that might be the watchmon seven that's all turned off at the moment this is sort of just semi-retired i do have all the inverter up there but it's all disconnected for now those batteries are still okay um, and then i got my my big battery here it's done pretty much nothing since my last video. That's my big gray battery. I want to I want to give that away and take that somewhere and set it all up. Um, but I just don't have the funds to do that at the moment to give something away. But apart from that, cars, cars, Tesla Powerwall. Um, let's go for a walk down to the power shed. Come on, can I get a like for that? That's that's a lot of time and effort making a but 48 year old car look good. Right here, down to the power shed. Now, like I said, I don't go down here unless I see something wrong with my battery management software, the battery room gear. Um, this is the Watchmon, uh, what is it? Watchmon 4 running down here. And only a couple of minutes ago, I walked down here and I thought, I'll open the shed door and have a look. Well, shit, you should see this. Don't, don't pay any attention to how much mess and stuff it is and I just popped the cover off here to have a look at here very very temporarily and I lost the screw. Um, I did have a plan of pulling it all apart and showing everything but for now uh, it's actually still all working. So we've got inverter number one. Uh, what do we got? 8% load. So that inverter is still working. Now these, I should say these inverters are something around 5 six years old so they're all still running this is my original pcm 60x they're still running uh, doing 300 watts and it is the middle of the day but um we've had that the whole time so and this is the shit that i was talking about um i should probably should blur it we have had somebody running a muck in here all over everything so i'm gonna have to pull all that out and give it a good clean up i just couldn't do it i had to go grab the gopro this was terrible uh, i didn't feel very good at all showing it in hindsight but i'm going to show it anyway because hell that's what we do here on the youtubes so the battery's down here 
Now they have had maintenance. We still come down here and um, whenever I see a problem with the bait trim, as you saw in the shop before, uh, that cell there was a little bit low and I had one cell that was getting hot. So I still use a thermal camera on there. So first line of defense is bait trim. The second line of fence is um, good maintenance, huh, except for the mess that was in here. It is probably about 30 days since I've been down here again. But if you have a look at some of these cells, we've got 2020 on that, so they're three years old, three years old. Or at least that's the last time they were checked. Uh, 2020, and those a lot of 2020s down there. So a lot of these ones here, these ones seem to be failing more than the shed behind me, which I'll show you in a second. And the only thing I can put that down to is these cells are closer. So the orange cable there comes up the back and then up there and then down into here. And then the other cables are here. So they go through the back of the shed and then into this shed. So these ones here are about two meters, three meters longer than those ones. So these ones get the voltage sag more over than the other ones. So I'm figuring the load on those batteries causes these ones to fail quicker i can't be sure of course but these aren't the earliest batteries by any means um actually that one there those type of uh joints were the first ones i did so they're all still up and running let's have a look at the screen here see if we can get bait trim up uh chia wallet we don't need chia so you can see we got a low voltage of uh 3.78 and then we've got 3.85 volts is the high and they go up and down now one bad thing I never changed with this, and I kind of wish I did, but I don't really need to. The first 42 of these bars aren't needed. I could actually take out a third of them because there's three long ones on each battery in the other shed because I joined them all with a jumper wire. I did that a long time ago, 2018, I think. So other things around here, that was put over here midway through 2019, I believe. Uh, that was on this side so i had a whole of work done and that was coming put in there um the little data cable has since broken but it actually still works so i can click down on here and i can still see that i'm putting i don't know if you can see it but i can see it 780 watts into the actual battery itself um and i'm doing 63 watts to the grid so it's grid powered and it's charging at the moment so that's the ac coupled inverter these two inverters are about six years old i don't know the exact date that one was the first one and then that one was put in after it so that one may be 12 months younger so that may be five years old but that there i bought second hand seven years ago eight years ago and it's still cranking on so that's this one if anybody would like to know that's my watchmon 4 so that's been running for a good few years now. I had a Watchmon 1 before that, and the geckos got into it and killed it. I had a NUC here, a little Intel NUC. Well, I actually had two there, they both failed. And now I just have a big old computer down there because it's heaps cheaper than replacing these things. I've replaced, value-wise, I've replaced more in um, computers to monitor it than I have the actual batteries themselves. Now if we pop around into the second shed, so this is the other battery shed and I haven't opened this one at all today and as you can see it is pretty much how it was seven years ago six years ago I say it's six years ago it's probably not six years ago it's probably five or so so we've got the school traffic beside us thank you very much and again these are all the generation one bus bars there's not too much rust if you have a look at the farm ones, if you ch check in with me again next week or the week after, I'll do an update out at the farm and you have a look at the batteries and how they're corroded out there. That's nickel strip rather than copper like I have here. So there's not much to show you out here other than many years ago, I put this jumper cable between all the batteries. So that is effectively one battery, that's effectively one battery and so on and so forth. But it, I didn't really want to rewire all my battery management system, all my BMS. So I lazily just left them there much to... Um, I'm, I'm sure Batrium don't agree with that at all. But look, it's still running. I'm still incredibly impressed uh, with everything there. Uh, we lost the... Looks like we lost a, um, a zip tie. But apart from that, it all still works and all still does its thing.
I didn't put much thought into that. I thought I'll press the button to test it. Um, so fire alarm still works. Uh, if I should be honest, how did that go back up? That's never going back up there on camera. Um, we'll do that later. Uh, I don't have a fire alarm in this cabinet. I, I only just thought of that, so maybe I should do that. Anyway, tubers, that's a fairly average update, I guess. Um, if you've got any questions, shoot them across to me. I'm going to try and get back into doing some regular videos again. I don't know what on because I don't really enjoy doing the batteries anymore. And I bloody loved all my minis. So let me know what you think below. Thank you very much, tubers, for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one.